much crazy tonight, man. Don't rock. Come on, I'm doing it a lot. And again, and again. Oh, what a session. Make sure you watch this one. Make sure you watch it. Oh, look, 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 look. Bang, 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 bang. You'll see it, you'll see it. You ready, you ready. Yeah, yeah, look, look, look. Bang, 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 bang. Gotta go, gotta go. Hello, guys, and welcome back to That's A Bite. Today, I am literally on Penryn Bay. And what I've got in mind today is basically search through these rock pools for any any bait basically i'm going to conserve my own bait anything what i believe that fish will have bait obviously if i spin the camera around and show you now what i'm looking what you've got here is little rock pools and stuff obviously currently i'm on here um one thing i would like to note that it is low water now but that tide is rising so the main thing is you've got to know when that tide is rising if you don't you can get caught out very quickly obviously i won't go too far from the shore obviously because the steps and stuff are there so just bear that in mind guys that if you are out on low water just know when the tide's coming in when it's changing and obviously just plan your route back basically um i won't get caught out today it is quite a low tide today anyway it's not it's not rising very quickly um, but as soon as i know that it does start to change it's basically get back a, get back ashore so yeah, I'm just going to have a quick look round, quick scout round, see if I can find any mussels, clam pits, any sort of shellfish, um, any, any baits like that, crabs and stuff. Just have a good look. Um, and I'll see you if I get any. So all I'm doing here is flicking rocks and stuff, looking for anything that's attached to here. Any mussels and things like that I'll be collecting, uh, making a little bit of a cocktail bait. Obviously I'm not too close to the, uh, to the water's edge at the moment, so I... I know for a fact that I won't get much here, but over there there's a bit more seaweed and stuff, a bit more of a habitat for them. I know the fish will happily graze in this, um, but it is a bit of a tackle graveyard if you're here and you're fishing it. But obviously we all know that rotten bottoms will cover this. So guys, I found a little bait here now, I'll show you. You've got fresh limpets and stuff here. It's just getting a bit of a rock, obviously it was spur of the moment, so a knife would do. It's just, give me a little tap, just to break them off. Let you see there, you got perfect bait inside there. Straight in the bucket. Like that. What a glorious day for the 2nd of January as well. Absolutely glorious today. And so far, I've got quite a few and a lot of them are decent as well. What I'm planning to do is get that out of there, make a little cocktail bait, little parcels and get it sent out. I think the cod will love these baits or whatever fish as well. But that's within five, 10 minutes I've been here. You see? Ideally, I'd like the, the bigger mussels, um, the ones that you commonly see on your plate and stuff, but stuff like that is perfect, I believe. And this one was the exact one I was looking for. Them, but only one pound. Well, I'm going to go back now, de-shell them, and get them on a big sausage and send it. Now it's time to support your local tackle shops. You've got to support them, guys. You've got to support them. So I'll go in there now and get a bit of fresh. So all I'm doing here now is basically getting the fresh limpets, which I'll show you now. Inside there you've got the, the mussel itself. And all I am doing is just taking it out the shell like that, putting them into a pile. And what I'm doing is getting them into a little cocktail like that, put a cocktail stick through them, get a load of bunch of bait like that, and I'll bait elastic that. Probably add a bit of lug and a bit of squid to it. Just to basically plump up my bait. Well, yeah, I've never tried this bait before, but personally, I do like the look of that. I know that the wrasse and things, because they've got big sharp teeth and things, um, I know they like the black part in there, which is some sort of sack of the actual clam itself. Um, so, yeah, I've never used this before. It was just me thinking, ideally, I would have liked the mussels, which I'm sure I collected one, which would be in the bottom of there somewhere. I did collect one at the moment. There you go the common mussels um, I do know a spot which I'm going to try and get there to get some of them because I know that'll be a good bait <clears throat> but I thought let's give this a go so I've got one pack of lug and a bit of squid and I'll just decorate it with that later on and just uh, bait elastic it up and send it out so high tides it 20 to 8 it's currently 5 o'clock so got to get a rush on um, fishing locally today so yeah we'll get that sorted pack the car and I'll see you at the chosen destination. 
So, here's my chosen destination, Colwyn Bay right by the arches. And the reason for this is because I believe personally, with the amount of work which is going on in the local area to strengthen the bank, to stop coastal erosion, I believe that with all these machines, all the big heavy rocks and stuff which are being moved around, I think that it'll be basically crushing all the lug beds, it'll be moving bait around which is which will be bringing fish into the spot. As you can see there, there's big boats which are pumping a large amount of sand in, as you can see there through the pipe. Um, so yeah, I'd like to massively thank Curtis for this and um, see how this session goes. But rest assured guys, they are building us a fishing platform. I think it'll be available this summer. I'm not quite sure on the time wise, but they are building us a fishing platform. So you can't complain too much. This is brilliant. Well then guys, I'm here. As you've seen in that video then, explaining the works of the promenade and with the fishing itself, I personally believe that with all the work right away from the old arches, as a lot of you will know, right the way over to Rose Point, there's constantly machines here for say about a year now, um, they've had a lot of fresh sand pumped in, loads of rocks, so personally I believe that with all that machine going over the lug beds and the natural bait and things, I think that it should work, it should fish pretty well. Um, so I say I'm going to give it a go tonight anyway, I'll just see how things are, I've got a nice little break here in the rock, so if I was to hit a big fish, I'd bring it in pretty well like so. So yeah, let's give it a go. I got a new line today. I've re-spooled both my reels and um, this is the first session with it. So I don't know how it's gonna go. It is a fluorocarbon coated. It's ASO Ultracast. So it's the first time I'm giving this a go tonight. So <laughs> it could go two ways, but uh, you'll soon see anyway. But see how this goes. It does feel a nice line. It glides through pretty well through the eyes and stuff like so. Yeah, just feeling that then as I'm setting up now, ready to put my rig on. Seems a nice line. So then guys, what I call this rig now, I call it myself a bolt rig. I was going to fish the Mersey the other day, so I tied a load ready to go. Uh, but for obvious, for, for certain reasons, we haven't gone, which we will do, just give us time. But this is a bolt rig, basically. What it is, you've got a, a running lead there, like that. And you've got a top bit swede there. You've got a top swivel there. So basically, the fish was to pick up, bang, it would hit it. Same again if it was run the other way, it would run with the rig and it would hit that top knot there on the swivel and technically hook it. So yeah, I'm going to put one of them out, or possibly two of them out tonight with the baits which I made up before and uh, we'll see how we get on because I know it's quite flat round here, obviously with the odd rocks and big rocks and things. But I thought with, with cod and stuff uh, being predominantly bottom feeders, I thought I'd give that rig a go tonight. You know, if there's any rays or anything like that about it, it'll, it'll quite happily hover over that part there without coming into contact with the lead or anything and it's perfectly nailed to the deck like so we'll give this a go see how we get on well i got a top bit swede there anyway but we're all good right that's enough top swede now so here's one of those baits i prepped earlier basically with the with the limp bits and stuff like that so what i've done is i've added a bit of lug on the side of there just for a bit of extra attraction yeah, it's a nice bait that, nice bait, I could even half that, put a little one out to begin with. But yeah, lovely bait that, we'll see how we get on with it. I'm intrigued. <laughs> like the top bit, sweet. This one now is just going to be a little scratching rig, I've got two, uh, well I've got a two up flapper on there now. I'll send that one out, see how we get on with that. So yeah, let's get them both in, see what we can get on the bank. Just keep your eye on that tip. I wasn't sure whether a fish had actually hit that on the way down. So I was holding it for a bit, just feeling it. Good morning. Let's send this bolt rig in with a little bit of a bit of bait, bigger bait on the bottom of it. A little bit of a bit of bait, a little bit. What, Mike? Let's send this one this way. As far as I can. 
Oh, that line's lovely, that new line. Wow, I do like that. Get some serious distance with that, I do like that. Just It just peeled off then, off that spool then. It just guided through the line. That was lovely, that. Some serious distance with that. Oh, right the left and ready was that. What was that mean? Oh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Ready? Here we go, guys, here we go. I've been in for all, all two minutes, that. Here we go, it's going again. Could be carnage tonight by the looks of things. First cast. And again, that's a good little solid bite, that. Straight in, I think. There we go. Back up. I reckon if I hold that rod now, you'll feel that. Just hold it to feel for the bite. Pretty sure there's something pecking at it anyway. Because there is two watts on there, you see, so what I'd like is to uh, bring two in, ideally. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely nuts, that. Pretty adamant there's probably a whiting on that already. I can just see the tip, just ever so slightly beyond the big bites. Yeah, I'd say there's definitely a waiting on this. First cast as well. Yeah, I'm going to hit that. Just going to hold it a minute. Yeah, I feel it on there nodding. Here we go. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Suspicions were right. All but two seconds in the water. We got the whiting in town. On the top up, that was on the lug. Sure that as I cast in it hit it, it literally took it on the drop. Pretty adamant of that. Well, there we go. First one on the bank. Happy with that. Oh, do I put a scratching rod out tonight and have a little blast? And yeah, because at the end of the day. Still a nice sport catching them. Keep, keeps you busy. Let's get it back. Off you go, little one. Yoo hoo! Bottom up's mangled. <laughs> Plenty of whiting out. Fifty seconds. I might as well. With them in town tonight, and that, how, how many of them will be about? I'm going to wear. Just keep that same lug on for now, because I know it'll probably go in seconds, that. As soon as that hits the water, that's gone. I'm going to preserve it for a bit. I haven't got much lug, I've got one pack of lug. Let's see if we can get those limpets going off, and that'll be odd. I've got some limpets on the top one anyway, so... Yeah, the lug strikes again. Right in the winter. Don't go much. That line just peels off that reel, I love it. I'm going to let hold that rod for a second in case it goes off again in my hand. <laughs> you can see what it's going to be tonight. It's going to be a white and bonanza tonight. Plenty of. One down. See if we can get a quick drink in. Didn't see that then, but there's a chap down there which I'm talking to. He's quite new to fishing, so I'll give him a massive shout out. He recognised me then. I'm just helping along. 
um, new to fishing, so I'm trying to explain the different rigs and stuff like that to him. And he's just let me know there's a big bite, so I haven't I haven't seen that big bite yet, but hopefully you did, and I'll check it over afterwards. Like, but yeah, shout out to to the lad over there. You know who you are because you've been watching this. Um, which are over there actually. But see if you can get you some whiting on the on the bank tonight, mate. So. The lad has come down tonight. He recognised me from the videos. And uh, he's had his first fish tonight, haven't you? Two, That's two, two first fish. So what's he got here? There you go. So he's got a nice whiting on the top and on the bottom. You've got a rockling on the bottom there, haven't you? So that's your two two species which you've had tonight, mate, which is which is brilliant. Fair play to you. Is that the three bearded? One, two, three. Three bearded rocklin, and some on the bottom. Yeah, it might be a six, five bearded rocklin, that. But lovely little rocklin. Yes. Well, in mate, two species down now. Yes, Good lad. Just got back now from over there, and that rod's going. So I'm going to hit that one now. Here we go. Let's hit that one out the gripper. Definitely fish on. What I don't know. It's weird from a different rod to this one. It's not the same setup, so it feels completely different. Yeah, I definitely see there's a fish on. It's kicking a little bit. Which is good. It's a nod. Probably a white one. It feels like it's gone light. No, nothing on that one. Well, it's had interest, I'll tell you that. It's had interest, which is good, so, yeah. Smash that to pieces, so I'll rebate that one up in a minute. Let's get this sausage on the go. Take the cocktail out. Perfect little bait there, little sausage bait. Be a fishy, 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 fishy. Send it out. Just got to check behind you when you're fishing the farm as well, because there could be people going past you, so always check. Just send it. Oh, that line, beautiful. Woohoo! And well, that's not even a pendulum fast either. And that, that's flu, that has to be fair. I'm missing them as well, I'm not left and right, trying to get this out and talk to you. And again, there again. It's nuts, nuts, it's nuts. I just can't keep the rig in the water, look, it's nuts. Oh, it's crazy tonight, though. Go broad, bang, 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 one after another, look, and again, and again. Oh, what a session. Look at this, look at this. Uh, it's absolutely nuts. I think it's just chopped the block and wiped out there to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, I'm bringing that rod in now and that was bouncing. <laughs> Come on. That one, this one might not have one on. Solely with it being a bigger bait. Nope. Not on that one. But, like I said, with it being a bigger bait, that's probably why, because then, well, you can see, they're absolutely annihilating the bait. Picking around it, basically, so it'd be swarmed with white out there. Fish through them, I think, fish through them. Just goes to show, if you are short of bait, you can't get to attack the shop, go foraging. With the scam round, we're all right, people. Look at that. Look, look, it's going again.
Fish on. Two on. Three. I knew it was snooing with fish out there today. White and bonanza. <laughs> Look at that. The, si <laughs> the size of that bait there. And it's always the top hook, they smash. Always the top hook. Lovely little whiting again. <laughs> Waiting Bonanza! Nice size white in them. They are nice size. <whistles> oh, well there's, there's one for bait. <laughs> if I do run out of bait, I've just dropped him on his head. So he'll definitely be bait. And he's absolutely swallowed me, so I reckon he's bait as well. Greedy buggers. It's going off for me, Lado, down here. Just lost one into a snag, have you? Are you still playing it? Or is it stuck on something, has it? That one's going as well, is it? You haven't crossed your line, have you, no? But that one was going well, a good fish on that, yeah? Is it? And that one's still going. It's fishing well tonight, guys. <laughs> it's absolute carnage. I've just run over there and I've just seen this one smash him round. He's trying to unsnag over there because the fish took him into his snag. Um, yeah, it's just absolute... Yeah, look, 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 look. Bang, 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 bang. Got to go. You will see it. Maybe not. Yeah, yeah, look, look, look. Bang, 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 bang. Gotta go, gotta go. Waiting Bonanza. Jesus, like a racetrack out here tonight on the prom. <laughs> There's a little one going out. Tide's now dropping, so I don't think I've got long left now. But as far as fishing goes for a quick session, I think it's gone pretty well to be honest with you. Quite happy with that. And it is very, very cold. I can hardly feel my fingers tonight. Like it's uh, freezing. I touch my bait and I'm like, oh, I can't feel my fingertips. It's very, very cold, but uh, the tide's starting to drop. So how long I'll be here for now, I don't know. Might have a rebate re on the right hand rod now, because that's been out for a while. Uh, fresh bait's just gone on that one now, on the left hand one, on the the uh, flapper. But yeah, it's bitterly cold tonight, guys. Bitterly cold. I'm trying to warm my hands up, but then I want to put the bait on and get it out. You see? Ooh. I can't feel my fingers. There's literally a frost on everything at the moment. I didn't think there would be tonight, to be honest with you, but it is a night so explains that and we are on the 2nd of January so some people have called me mad but personally I love it oh. well that's a first for me well then I don't like the look of that and I never knew they actually did that but these are those uh, running beads there. 
I only tied this rig the other day and in the middle it looks like they're designed to actually split out and I never actually knew that and personally I'm not a fan of that now I've seen that that's a bit a bit weird to be honest with you but yeah and when your hands are that cold and this happens to you it's not the best is it so that must go in there it doesn't must be just how the manufacturers like that but I don't like the look of that to be honest with you I do not like the look of that yeah I never knew that now I do so I'll keep an eye on that Big fish on. Right in, the top one just dropped off right in the end then down there. But it's coming inside on me, so it's why it felt feel a bit heavier. Never too lightened. That was not even getting rebated because my hands are that cold. My hands are freezing. Wow, I can't feel them. I can't feel them. Ooh. Yeah, I actually thought that was a uh, decent fish coming in then, but it was just one white and it was far up through the side. And a decent one on the bottom. This is my last bait now. He's going in. That other rod's coming in because I can't feel my fingers. I'm going to have to call it. But for now, that rod's in. I know that's a good bait now. We'll just see if there's... Uh, He's just down there, he is. Can you see him? So I'm just going to jump down. So I know there's a shel uh, shelf here, so I'm just going to go and knock. Chuck him back in the water. Just see him there. Come get him. He was a decent size whiting as well though. Lovely whiting. Yeah, just caught on the top there he was. Off he goes. And as that goes, I'm going. And there you go, he's gone back now. We start packing up now. I cannot feel these pickers. Just need to warm them up a bit first. I love fishing, but I hate the cold. Come on, big bait, come on. That's one big bait, that as well. I bet there's a waiting on. Oh, just let me keep my hands warm. It's gotta be minus two now. Ooh. 
do. That's a good bite. That's a bite. Come on. This is a good one. This is a good one before they go. It's got to be cut out. Of it. It's got to be. This is my mission to get one off the North Wales coast, I tell you. Oh, come on then. On the prevail, come on. Bang, bang, bang. That looks awfully tingy, that. Oh. 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 Waiting. That's a waiting. <laughs> One thing I would like to say is a, a massive thank you to all of you that have subscribed, that have communicated with me on the channel, or liking the videos, and just generally following me. Um, it's been a brilliant year, to be honest with you. And without you guys, I wouldn't be doing it. Um, so yeah, I'd like to thank you massively for this. I do love filming the sessions as we are fishing basically and me and John especially we do have a good time we do um, just keep checking me rod just in case it's going but yeah I'd like to just just a massive thank you to all of you every single one of you the new viewers as well thank you very much and for the new ones that are watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell it doesn't cost a thing I don't think I'll be one of them, well, I, I, I mark my words now, I won't be one of them that'll uh, monetize my channel, so I have to pay for my content specifically, I'd never get to that. It's just a case of enjoying my fishing, and seeing how we fish, especially me and Gamekeeper John, you know how we always fish together, and just film everything and show you guys, basically. But, this year, we've got plans, let me tell you. We're going to spice it up a bit. We're going to do some challenges. We're going to do some funny challenges. We're also going to do a lot of course fishing. We're going to mainly predominantly stick to sea fishing. Um, but we are going to spice it up a little bit. So just pre-warning you now. Some funny content will be on the way. But apart from the funny content, we've got the tote plan this year as well. Been studying last year and still studying now with different tote marks and stuff. I know a lot of people do try and keep the mark secret sort of thing, which you know is whatever floats your boat with that. But we've done our own little studies and stuff, and we've uh, we pretty much think where we know we're going to go for a tote for the tote. But yeah, we're going to try and land that tote this year. I've never had one myself, but we are going to go for that tote. We're also going to go for the big RAS this year because we want to get a PB RAS. Obviously, we're still fishing for the cod. Still up at the tip. I know it's been bouncing, but it's not going anywhere, basically. It's whiting. <laughs> but yeah, we have got massive, massive plans ahead. Um, if we land this cod this year, we land it. If we don't, we don't. Um, it's fishing how it is, isn't it? It's fishing how it is. Yeah, definitely white in that. <laughs> I'm going to bring it in, I think. I think I'm going to call this session, I think. Because I am freezing. And I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Wow. Wow, look at that going. That's better. That's better. I'm going to hold that. Yeah, good nod. Oh, what is it? Ooh, come on then. Come on then. Imagine if this <laughs> Come on. I think it's going to be a bit of stick. Probably a white, and I'm probably getting overexcited to be honest with you. Yeah, oh, there's a fish on. There's a fish on. <laughs> I knew it felt heavy. <laughs> it's uh... a. <laughs> 
to strangled waiting. <laughs> oh, guys, that's it. I'm done. Just been plagued by these today, but it's, it's been brilliant. It has been brilliant, but yeah, the last fish of the session was a strangled whiting. <laughs> what are you doing there, little fella, eh? You're supposed to nail the hook. Hey, eh? you've just swam through my line. <laughs> oh, let's go sort this tangled mess out. But yeah, that's a wrap for me, I'm done. I'll see you on the next one, but like I said, there's gonna be stupid, well, really good content coming out this year. I'm pushing for it now, I'm going for it. The GK is already going for it, but we have got plans, so please, please, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button, and keep on watching, because we're going for it this year. 2023, this channel, John's channel, and the fish we're going for, say no more, but we're coming for you. We're gonna have you 2023, we're gonna have some big fish. Until then, tight lines and make sure you can say that's a strangled fish or that's a bite. Peace out. The guy who's over there who caught that rockling before is just starting off fishing. So he's got two little rods over there but one that's not beefy enough. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to go and gift him this rod which is a Diawa Center. She's my beefy one. So I'm going to go and gift him this rod and say good luck on your angling adventure. Yeah, mate. I know you follow my channel and you follow John's as well. I was talking to you before, wasn't I? About your rods and things. <laughs> there, there's, a, there's a rod for you, mate. Yeah? No? Take that rod. Nice solid rod there for you. That one will do the conga and it will do bull us. Enjoy your new rod, mate. I know you're watching, and thanks again. Good luck with it, mate. Go and catch those big ones. After every session, guys, put your rubbish in the bin. Don't be one of them anglers that leaves crap everywhere lying around. Simple as that, put it in the bin. <laughs>